happy album release day, guys. We have been blessed with music today from Dua Lipa and a week in advance. The prophecy is true. She dropped her second studio album today called Future Nostalgia. 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 The original release date was meant to be on April 3rd, however, she decided to drop the album early to spread happiness and smiles during the coronavirus pandemic. The album, which has an 11 song track list, was influenced by artists like Gwen Stefani, Madonna, and Outkast, so there's literally no way that this could go wrong. In honor of Dua's album release today, we are going to be counting down five things that you probably didn't know about her. But uh, I knew these things because I'm a fan. I know her name is ridiculously cool and kind of sort of sounds like a made up stage name, however, Dua Lipa is in fact her actual name. The only problem is some people have some serious issues pronouncing it, like um, take Wendy Williams for example. Do La Lipa. Huh? She, her name's Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. <laughs> her first name means love in Albanian, and that's clearly not a misrepresentation of who she is as a person, considering she's loved by 40 million Instagram followers. But the real question is, why don't I have 40 million Instagram followers? Probably because I have no talent. Dua is a very humble gal. She doesn't think she has many talents other than singing, but she admits she's a pretty darn good speller. She will crush you in a spelling bee. And I think her favorite word to spell is pterodactyl. P-T-E-R-O-D-A-C-T-Y-L. Apparently, Dua was very invested in not being vertically challenged. So as a child, she was kind of on the short side and she decided to start playing basketball to try to make herself taller, but um, that didn't necessarily work out the way she planned. <laughs> Music runs in her family. Her father, who goes by this name... Uh, what? what does that say, Anaya? What? Anyway, he was in an Albanian rock band, and when she was growing up, she'd listen to his music, and she's often said that he was one of her main influences. Dua has worked in the studio with many artists like Diplo and Mark Ronson, and also Ariana Grande. They recorded a song together called Back To You. Sadly though, she doesn't think that the song will ever see the light of day. The, the song that me and Ariana did together, it just didn't end up working out, and now she it's, fi it's found a home basically with someone else. BRB. Just gonna go cry. Anyway, those are some interesting facts about Dua Lipa that you probably didn't know about. Make sure to listen to her new album and show her some love. And also note that I, uh, I do it, you guys. If you remember what I said about her name, it'll make sense. Otherwise, I got nothing for you. Yeah.